Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be opening up two packs of the LEGO Minifigure Series 21. Um, and I have felt these up ahead of time. Um, and this one right here is the Alien. Um, which is definitely one of my favorite figures in the series, so... Yeah, there it is, the Alien. So here's the Alien. I, first of all, just love that new molded headpiece. It looks very, very cool. It's got little spikes on the back. Um, here's this nice, nice little like mouthpiece that kind of reminds me of what Bane has. His eyes are like to the side a little bit. I don't know. It looks, it looks really cool. Um, and he has this neat like prisoner uniform or not might just even be his like space outfit or something. Um, and yeah, very cool side arm and side leg printing. That looks very cool. Um, got shoe printing as well. Uh, the printing at the front of the torso is a little misaligned with the waist printing. That's probably just a production error for my specific minifigure. Um, I definitely wasn't designed that way, but you can see it's just slightly misaligned there. No big deal though. And I love that back torso printing. That looks very good. Um, and he does have uh, two accessories. He has a, a crowbar and gunmetal gray, which is a nice color to get. And then he has one of those crystals that were introduced in like Chima, I believe. Um, kind of wish that was in a different color because we've gotten so many of these in that translucent light blue color. So maybe a new color would have been nice, but yeah, it's no big deal. Next pack. And this one is going to be the beekeeper. If I felt this up correctly, which so far I've never felt something up incorrectly. Um, just saying, but yeah, I'm trying to keep that streak going. Hey, it is the beekeeper. Here's the beekeeper. Very cool minifigure. Um, definitely one of my favorites from this series. Another one of my favorites, um, which is obviously why I picked him out. Um, but yeah, his his printing is quite simple. It's just a bunch of like, just a bunch of lines really. I mean, he has a little honey stain on his shirt. Um, got the little logo on the top right corner of his torso. Um, but yeah, there's nothing too crazy going on with the printing. But that headgear piece or helmet. I don't know what you call that, but you know what I'm talking about. Looks amazing, and that is a new piece entirely. Uh, it just looks so cool. Very interesting shape, um, but I like that a lot. And the visor, it's like a transparent, like, um, I don't know what color they call it. Transparent, like, dark brown almost, I think is what it actually is, but I might be wrong about that. Although it's not entirely transparent because it's like, it has a smoky finish to it, kind of like, you know, you can't really see his face all that well. Um, yeah, just really cool looking though. I do like it a lot though. And his accessories, I love how they built the smoker. It's just a coffee mug. And then on the bottom of that is one of those like jumper pieces that came from the DC Superhero minifigure series. Um, and it's in light gray. Oh, that's such a clever, um, such a clever like, way to build a smoker in Lego. But, and then I also like this um, two by two print of like a little honeycomb. That looks really cool as well. And his face print underneath is kind of adorable, honestly. He has his little tongue sticking out. Got a big furry gray mustache. Looks like a caterpillar kind of. Um, and funny enough, this guy's face print kind of looks like um, the corn on the cob guy from uh, series 17. So here's the turnout for today with the beekeeper and the alien. Um, love these minifigures a lot. Uh, and I think series 21 just as a whole is one of the better like non-licensed minifigure series yet. Um, when I heard it was gonna be 12 minifigures only, uh, I was kind of let down, but I feel like they like amped up the quality with each minifigure because I don't think there's any like weak or bad minifigures in this series. Like, they're all very strong, I think. And I think these are two of the strongest ones, um, in my personal opinion. But, what do you know? I mean, these are the only two minifigures from the series I have, but I would certainly like to get more because, like I said before, it's just, it's a great series. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.